So the next experiment that we're going to look at after the yeast secretory mutation is still going along the story of this of these proteins that get made and enter the endoplasmic reticulum and then move on to this secretory pathway. So this next experiment look to see what happens to these soluble proteins, the ones that go through all the way into the ER, not the ones that are bound to the membrane. Okay? So for this experiment, what we do is we extract an intact rough ER, so an intact endoplasmic reticulum that has ribosomes bound to the membrane, known as rough ER. As we can see, these ribosomes are translating so this is messenger RNA running through these ribosomes. They are being translated. And notice that these ribosomes are docked or bound to the ER. And remember this is done because the ribosome is attached or bound to a translocon on the ER membrane. And the protein is being fed through that translocon and ends up inside the ER. So then what happens to those proteins once they get in all the way? So the next step then is to take this fully intact rough ER and homogenize it. So literally take the cell or the extract, put it in a blender, and shred it all up. Once that's shredded up, we end up forming what's known as microsomes. So microsomes are pieces of the ER that have now been shredded up. And what happens is that these uh, microsomes basically uh, fold back up into little circles or little packages. So what you see is a microsome with ribosomes still attached and the protein has been fully translated and is folded up and is inside the ER. Okay, Or in this case the microsome which is a representation of the ER. Then what we do is we see, okay, so What's wrong with these, or how protected are these proteins? So we add protease to an intact microsome. Protease, remember, is an enzyme that attacks proteins and breaks them down. So if we do that here, what we see is the protease is unable to get in and break up the protein. Why? Because when the protein got synthesized, it got deposited into the ER where it is now protected because the ER is a membrane bound organelle and these proteases cannot diffuse or break in to the membrane but now as a control what they did is they add detergent to the microsomes remember detergent is used very commonly in these experimental uh, techniques and remember detergents are going to eat up the lipid bilayer, so they attack the lipids on uh, membranes. So this is going to go ahead and poke holes into the membrane of the microsome. And now when you add protease, the protease is able to get into the microsome and therefore destroy the protein. So again, the point of this experiment was to demonstrate what happens to these proteins once they are synthesized and once they are translated um, and made and ready to go on to the secretory pathway.